right, so first you want to go to Wii Options and Wii Settings. And as you can see, I have menu version 4.3. Then you can go over to Internet and Console Information. And that is your MAC address, you'll need that later. Okay, next you go to please.hackme.com. There you'll find the letter bomb. Once you select your system menu version, then type in your MAC address from earlier. Be sure to select the bundle, the HackMe installer, and then type in the CAPTCHA. Then when you're done, you cut the red wire, and this will download the letter bomb. And you can right click the letter bomb and extract it with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Alright, you can insert your SD card, then right click and format it. Then you can copy the boot elf and the private folder to the SD card. All right, and you can remove the SD card and insert it into your Wii. And go back to the main menu. Then go to the Wii message board. Then click over to yesterday. And that is letter bomb. And there it goes. You can just wait for it, then press 1, then continue, then install the homebrew channel, and continue, and continue, and go to boot me, and install boot me as an iOS. If you can install it as boot, to, then do so. Then continue. And then when you're done, you exit. And there it is, the homebrew channel. You can remove the SD card from your Wii and insert it to your computer. And follow the link and download Hack Pack Part 2. Save it. Alright. Right click and format your SD card again. Extract the hack pad and copy everything to your SD card. And then, if you have an older Wii that can play DVDs, then you may want to download a Dark Court. This will allow you to play burnt and backup discs in the regular disk channel. You can just extract it and add it to the, you can copy the two folders to the SD card. And 
click yes. Alright, and remove the SD card and insert it into your Wii. Press home and launch boot me. And then it should load the multi mod manager. Go down to the wired manager. And press one and and press A to install all the WADs. Go back. And then next, you go to App Manager and go down to Preloader. And this is this will uh, kind of protect you from. You know, your Wii breaking, it'll make it easier to recover, and then it'll also add some hacks for your system menu. Now, error 106 is normal. Then if it freezes when installing, you can just reboot your Wii. And it should start right up. Then you can Then you can hold reset and it should load right up to the preloader menu. You can go down to the system menu hacks. I'd recommend you block the disk updates and online updates. You can also set region free everything. And be sure to save when you're done. You can also go down to settings and you can change what your Wii automatically boots to. You can set it to automatically boot some apps like the Homebrew Channel or USB Loader. You can also change the preloader menu to black. Be sure to save when you're done. And you can go up to system menu. And if you have one of the older Wii's and you want to play uh, burnt GameCube discs, you'll need to install the CMIOS and load. And just press A and then and set it to version 10. And install from the SD card. And then restart when it's done. Then if you have one of the older Wii's and you want to install Dark Corps, you can install that now. And I'd recommend installing it just the regular mode. Alright, when it's done, when it's done, it'll reboot your Wii. And you remove your SD card. And insert it into your computer. Alright, the final step, the app pack part three. You can download it and save it. Format your SD card one more time. And then extract the app pack. And copy everything 
into your SD card. And then remove the SD card and insert it into your Wii. So I've included the USB Loader GX, there's also a channel for it. You can, it allows you to back up and play Wii games from a USB device, you can also download them right from the, your computer. There's also the GameCube Backup Launcher, which is also a channel for it. This will allow you to play burnt and backup dis GameCube discs. There's also the Homebrew Browser. If your Wii is connected to the internet, you can download some apps and emulators and a lot of really cool stuff. There's also the Media Player. This will let you play music and movies from a USB device or an SD card. Or if you have an older Wii, you can play uh, DVD discs. And then finally, there's Neo Gamma. There's also a channel for it. And this will let you play burnt backup Wii games from the discs. Alright, there you go. Enjoy the homebrew channel on your Nintendo Wii. And don't forget to thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my website.